The lust for plunder tiring out, a leader raised the fiendish shout. What is well begun should finish well, the egg is broke, let us burn the shell. Live coals in neighbouring houses sought, were wrapped in cloth and burning brought. Then piled around with burning looms, which fed the flames that fired the rooms. The poem then describes the dawning of reality on the workers once they'd fled the scene. With tears the weavers saw the spoil of all their hope and future toil. They saw with grief their prospects fled, their homes, their labour and their bread. Machine breaking had become a capital offence through the introduction of the Frame Breaking Act in Parliament in 1812. Anyone caught breaking this law would be sentenced to death and the last section of the poem tells of the fate of the workers that were found guilty. The magistrates in duty bound committed those conspiring found to Lancaster and there await their trial till the judges sate. The fatal morn, the summons call, the gallows scowls from the castle walls, for hempen ropes suspended high proclaim the fact all four must die. The execrations of the crowd found vent in groans long, deep and loud. The men excitement fierce and wild they cried, could nothing save the child? A thousand hearts sent up the prayer to stay his doom, his life to spare. No, the blot must stain the historian's page. They hung a lad, twelve years of age. The old man paused and bowed his head. In tones subdued, he reverent said, Before that court, which sits above, and rules with equity and love, the supreme judge will hear their calls, the victims of unrighteous laws. These workers were fighting job cuts and poorer paying conditions through the increasing use of new technology. And that's no different to what happens today. One example is that the online revolution, which has played a major part in the way that services are now delivered. And this has an obvious impact on the workers in terms of reorganisation, redeployment and redundancy situations. Coupled with this, um, with the swinging budget cuts in public services, um, union members face a major challenge with the increased likelihood of industrial action ballots where paying conditions are being attacked. Of course, we don't burn the factory down anymore, but what union does, or unison does, is to organise union members into campaigning around attacks on jobs and services, and also bargaining and negotiating with employers to get the best deals for Unison members possible. Unison's Million Voices for Public Services campaign is central to all of this, central to protecting public services, which everyone relies on, and the people that provide them.